Hello everyone and welcome back to Flip a Clip Object Show Basics. Today we're going to be doing posing and blinking. Let's get started. I'm going to start things off by taking the asset and the background we made last episode, which you can watch in the link in the description if you haven't already. Now here's a really helpful tip. Split everything up into layers. First layer, the background. Second layer, the asset. And the layer on top of that, the limbs. Trust me, it'll be much easier that way. Now draw the legs, which are really easy. They're just lines with ovals on the bottom. You should aim to have the legs close together, but not too close or too far away from each other. Don't worry, this isn't important. It's just a tiny little detail to make everything look better. Honestly, this thing's the easiest to do. Now moving on to the arms. The most important part of this process is where you place them. Say your object is a circle, like this one is, right? You don't want to have it in the middle, because it look really weird, right? You want to have it more towards the bottom. Yeah, it looks just nicer that way. You don't want to have your arms too high. If say it's a square, you'd like to put it still middle, bottom, somewhere like that. There are some shapes like this triangle where you're going to have to put it more in the middle. I'm talking about where the arm starts from, right? Now, see, it's a really weird shape. Usually, you'll just have it from the middle to bottom around that area. Don't have it too high. If it looks too high, it'll look really weird. I'll put some examples on the screen. It, it looks weird, right? There's object shows that do this, and it's just really off-putting. So just try and stay away from that, okay? So yeah, rather than that, that's pretty much it. Now on to the face. The face is actually really easy, in my opinion. Um, There's some people, though, that say, oh, the mouth looks weird, the eyes look off, the eyebrows look off, whatever. That's called drawing blindness, and it happens when you've been staring at your drawing for so long that all you can see is what's wrong. So the best thing you can do when that happens to you is to take a break, 5, 10 minutes, however long you want, and when you come back, it'll be gone. Okay? I'll also do a separate pose so I can show you guys how to ease in and out from different poses. Yeah, that's, yeah. Now that you have your two poses, you're going to want to turn on onion skinning. What this does, and it basically shows you the frames before and the frames after, however many you want. But basic flip a clip only lets you see one frame before. So if you want to do more, you're going to have to buy flip a clip premium. Sorry, I know it's a bad service, but yeah. Now, copy on a different frame your pose. And you're going to want to do whatever parts that move, move them slightly back. And do this with the arm as well. Just slightly back so it looks natural. And I'll only do one frame, but there's also in-betweens, which you can do. I'll show you in a little bit. Not right now. I'll just finish this. You also want to move the face. Yeah. And just slightly move that face as well. That's towards the middle. So you see that? It's actually it's movement, right? I'll have to separate these two since I can't move them on their own. You might want to do a different layer for this, but I know Flip a Clip only allows three layers, so don't do what I'm doing! Okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just do that just like really quickly. You could also do this without Flip a Clip Premium. You'll just have to. It's, it's a different process. It's a weird process. I don't really want to show it right now. Just want to do the basic premise of this. So I can get to the in-betweens. Now, personally, I don't really like doing in-betweens. But I'll, I, I'll do them from time to time. Basically, it's like those really weird layers. Uh, not layers, frames in cartoons that look really weird. You know what I'm talking about? Like these ones. And you basically, it's like a smudge. So I'll do this with the arm. You want to, you see the distance from the top to the bottom of the movement, it's really sudden, right? So either your brain fills it in, or you do an in-between. So here, you're just going to want to take and do a couple different arms. One, two, three, just a couple ones. If you want to, and just kind of smudge it out, like I'm doing here. You can also do this with multiple arms. It's it's your choice, basically. I'll just do it like this. It's kind of like a motion blur. 
now that I think about it. Yeah, so there you go. There's your animation. I'll do a little bit of tweaking because it doesn't look really smooth, and I'll show you the finalized one. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. You're going to want everything to go in the same motion. You don't want everything to be, like, in a different movement. You know what I'm talking about? Or just do lines so you can visualize it. You don't want it to not be in the direction you're going because then it won't work, right? So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You want everything to go in a swoop or in a straight line or whatever, right? You don't want everything to be scattered around. It, Yeah, it won't look good. And here's the finalized animation. So yeah, that's it. I hope yours turned out way better than mine did. And let's get to blinking. I'll just move the eyes into the center so we can actually do this properly. Alright. Now first off, you're going to want to copy the layer. Not the layer, the, the frame, sorry, a few times. Now take it and make it a tiny bit smaller. And bring it down, right? Now remove the eyes and the eyebrows and everything. And draw your uh, eyelids, your closed eyelids. You can do this up or down. It doesn't really matter. I prefer to do it down because that's where the eyes are going. Right? So you're also going to copy this too and make it a tiny bit smaller and put a tiny bit up. And then um, paste the original. So four frames, right? Like that. And when the eye opens, you're just going to have to take the, I'll just take the same eye, because, yeah, and just make it a little bit smaller, but not smaller, shrink it. Uh, you saw what I'm doing. Yeah, that, and also paste the original one. So, yeah, that's it. That's the blink, and it's really easy and actually really smooth. So, yeah, I'll show you that right now. I know it's really fast, so I'll replay it. And put it on slower motion too. Yeah, that's it. I'll play the animations both one more time. And that's it for today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in Flip a Clip Object Show Basics 3. Maybe other stuff. I mean, you saw the announcement video. There's a lot of stuff coming, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Also, pretty please subscribe. It would be really cool, and I would like it. Yeah, please subscribe.